give us an example of something that you have been writing or something that you've been wanting if you want to give us an example of it in the way that you've been offering it in the way that's sort of making you feel tired of it well like I mean anything I would say maybe like take the thing that matters the most yes maybe financially yes like stuff you know once I graduate from college I have a year left and so what kinds of things are you trying to script or write about or visualize to really never worry about money money being an issue and say money or say give us the words that in the process in the way you were describing it that feels a little problematic to you I would say you know I like I am so I would say I am you know I am a millionaire or I am all right so when you say I am a millionaire but you don't believe that you are you're introducing resistance into the equation right there so you're being specific more specific than your current vibration is able to sustain so whenever you feel that tension just back away from the specifics and say something that is more general such as I have the potential for anything that I want there'll be no resistance in that I'm getting better and better at this there'll be no resistance in that already I can feel improvement there'll be no resistance in that I know that this universe is abundant I know that others who are now billionaires were one time standing right where I'm standing I know that these processes work I know that I'm coming closer into alignment with what I want I like the idea of abundance I like to look for the abundance in my own life experience not just the financial but the clarity abundance and the well-being abundance and the physical energy abundance and the beautiful in the world abundance I'm doing really well in this I'm looking forward to the universe yielding to me a steady path I understand that all of my abundance won't come all at once that's all right I like the steady stream of abundance that will be flowing to me that is flowing to me I love knowing that I'm the creator of my own reality I love knowing that I can dream big I love understanding how big what I've put into my vortex is and I love knowing the energy that creates worlds and my own inner being that everyone's gathered to assist me in that I can feel that my work is just to relax and allow it I don't want it to all come at once I want to savor it as ideas and pieces of it come I like the idea of having my own hands in my own clay as I'm processing all of this I like watching the abundance squirt into my experience in different ways I like knowing that it will always be good for me I like feeling my power of understanding I like understanding the laws of the universe I'm crazy about my own guidance system I like knowing by this calm that I'm feeling right now that I'm right on track with what I'm wanting it feels good to me to know that I can be or do or have anything that I choose I like knowing that I can massage the energy I like knowing that when I'm really sure of something I can really lay on the specifics of it and really get the momentum going because I love that fast ride and I love knowing that when it feels a little halting to me that that's the time and it's all right for me to just slow down and catch my balance and be more general I know that this is a sure thing I know that now this idea has occurred to me about something that I want that it must be I can feel how long the journey has been even for me to get into the receiving mode and receive that idea I understand that having received that idea means that I'm well along the way I'm so looking forward to the details of how that will play out I'm thrilled with the idea of the entrepreneurship that's flowing to me it is exciting to me to think about those that I will meet and it's exciting to me to know that I will know them when I see them it's exciting to me to know that I can't miss in this and that there will be so many avenues through which things will flow I love the power of my fascinating mind I love the interest I have on so many different subjects I love knowing the freedom I have to choose lots of different arenas at the same time I can feel the cooperative universe surrounding me and participating with me I look forward to each and every idea as it comes I don't have to look out into the future and figure it out all at once any more than I have to plan a trip across the country and know every turn I'm going to take along the way I know that I've got my feet under me and my stability and I know that I will intuitively know which way to turn and which way to go and when to put on the gas and when to slow down a little bit I love knowing that I'm the creator of my own reality there's nothing about this that I don't like there's nothing about this that I don't know 
Can you feel how productive that conversation was? And can you feel how easy it was just to step back from it and not try to cram it, not try to force it, not try to figure it out? Just acknowledge the things that you can acknowledge and feel the vibrational frequency that you accomplished in that. Feel how your cork is floating. Don't all things feel possible right now? Doesn't it just seem perfectly logical that as you're riding the rhythm of that vibrational frequency that an idea will come and that you'll know it when you see it and that it will be good and that it will hear this and that it will feed your appetite, your realization appetite as you go. You don't want to eat all the food that you're going to eat in the rest of your lifetime today. You think you do, but you really don't want to. It's nice when it keeps showing up and it keeps evolving given the different tastes that you have. Do you remember the things that you used to like to eat compared to the things that you now like to eat? Are you recognizing that your palate is becoming more sophisticated and your creative palate is too, you see? And so your inner being knows everything that you've created. Your inner being knows not just the potential, but the vibrational reality is for you. And your inner being also knows where you stand in relationship to that and what resistance is on your trail and how to call you over and under and around and through this resistance. Not because you have to get past that resistance in order to get to the ending place that you want, but because that's the fun of the journey. It's just being flexible and going and knowing and feeling sure. Don't you feel sure right now? Don't you feel sure for him right now? In other words, yeah. But to say, I can do this and I'm really good at this. And by the end of this month, I'll have this much money. And by the end of this month, I'll have this much money. And these are the specific things that I, in other words, sometimes you work against yourself. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got this. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We have enjoyed this interaction more than you'll ever know. <laughs> well, you might get in the receiving mode and get a sense of it. If you feel sure of yourself right now, then you know how we feel about you. If you feel eager about what's coming next, then you know how we feel about you. If you are appreciating yourself and everything you've lived that's brought you right here to this powerful now, then you know how we feel about you. If you feel confident that things are always working out for you, then you know how we feel about you right now. If you feel happy about everything that you've lived because of the understanding that it's brought you to, then you do know how we're feeling about you right now. If you can sense what's in your vortex even though you can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it if you can sense it if you can sense the goodness of it and the thrill of it then you know how we feel about you it's our desire for you and of course we can't create in your reality but we can hold you as our object of attention while we know things about you and so as we focus into what you're going to call future experience, which we know is current experience because it's a vibration that is so vivid to us. As we focus into your current vibrational reality, which is your future manifested reality, we can feel the thrill that you're going to have as you allow yourself to realize the path to get you from where you are to those places that you want to be. If we could zap you with one thing that we know and cause you to know it fully right now, what it would be is that you're never going to get it done. And so as you relax and enjoy the part you're on right now, that's that sweet spot that you're reaching for. You're going to get to the manifested end to many of your journeys you're going to find that money and you're going to find those relationships and you're going to find those dwellings and those vehicles and that technology you're going to find those empires you're going to find those occupations you're going to find all of those successes that you're looking for but what we want you to feel as a result of what we've come to together today 
is the ongoing never ending always unfolding joyous journey on your way to something that you think you want and we're not saying that you don't want it we know you want it you think you want it we're just saying that we know that there's something else that you want even more than what you think you want and that's the journey on your way to what you think you want it's the rendezvous with people it's the bursting of the idea in your mind it's the conscious realization that you just got an idea it's the realization of harmony that you have between you and your inner being and it's the constant unfolding of a perfect life as all kinds of physical co-creators join with you as you move forward down this always unfolding path you say it all the time in your physical realm you talk about how the joy is in the journey but today you understand it in a way that you've not understood it so fully before and we're going to put it to you in a very blunt way you've got to enjoy the journey because you're never going to get it done you're never going to get to the end place where you can sit back and rest on your vibrational laurels and say well there now I'm done because you're not ever going to be done so unless you make peace with the never doneness of who you are you're not ever going to be happy and as soon as you make peace with the not yet being done part then you're going to start enjoying the journey like right now you see so on your way to your financial prosperity and on your way to the relationships that you think you want get into that receiving mode and watch how much of it can manifest now and now and now and now and now and begin noticing because this is what's queued up for you all kinds of wonderful things are going to show themselves to you in what will feel to you like an almost simultaneous mode you're going to wonder how much good stuff can cram itself into one moment in time there are new friends for you that are on your doorstep and we are excited to tell you about that because as you move into some new friendships into some new acquaintances into some new vibrational frequencies into some new more positive expectations your life is going to fill in in ways that you have not been allowing it as you've been sort of in your stuck what isness. We've enjoyed this interaction more than these words can describe. And we know that you take away from it more than what your ears have heard. There's a vibrational difference between what you walked in the door with and what you will leave this room with. And it will demonstrate itself to you in the immediate hours and days that will follow. The universe is ready to rain down upon you evidence of your improved vibration. So watch for it. And the more you notice it, the more you comment to yourself about it, the more you acknowledge it, the more will come until there is on your doorstep a profound knowing of your own value and worthiness. That will set you in the place of that sweet spot that we're describing for the rest of your life. And now we want to say something to you that Jesus said to you long ago go forth and try to explain nothing to no one. <laughs> because understanding it is all that is necessary for you to demonstrate it. There is great love here for you. And as always, we remain in your vortex.